Hey, um, I was talking to a friend last night who just got off the phone with her mom. She said, Elvis, I wanted to ask you a question. We were talking about business and other things. Uh, very Whatever. And she said, I just got off the phone with my grandmother, and I have a feeling, and I don't mean to shame her, but I have a feeling my grandmother was a total, total slut when she was younger. And I went, I said, well, that's not nice. I mean, you know, look, it, it, there's a thin line between, you know, just being open and dating people and, you know, you shouldn't call them a slut. That's kind of, you know, very negative, especially your grandmother. She said, no, I think she was doing like several guys a day. Oh, a day? <laughs> and I went, well, so I said, well, find out more. So she's going to find out more. But I'm just wondering. What is she going to ask her? Hey, Grandma, were you a slut? Like, well, how do you know, find out more? Well, you're not going to find out more if you you know use the slut word because slut slut's a very very <laughs> slicing word. I like that you said the slut word instead the of like the word. S word. Yeah. The S word. I mean, you could go to Grandma and just here here. My point is this: you think of her as dear Grandma. You yeah. think of her as the sweet lady who spoiled you as a child and whatever. You never think about her as being a. a Sexually, you know, active woman, you know. Well, and, and also they had sex back then. It's a, but it was also a different time, and I think a lot more people at that time were, in theory, waiting until marriage. Yeah, right. They weren't. They just <laughs> said they were. Who are you kidding? We 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 really put our parents and our grandparents in this box of expectations where we we just don't want to think about them having sex or enjoying anything fun. Oh no, <laughs> you know, because they were just out doing grandma things. Yeah. All right. I don't know. I'm going to find out more. We're going to find out if Granny was a slut, and I'll let you know Monday. Don't they say there's more sex at the old age homes than anywhere else? Like, they find t- each other's teeth in, in each other's they do. rooms and Yeah, stuff. they're and making diseases. up for a long time. Diseases are happening, uh, you know, at, at senior homes and uh, communities all across America. We've talked about that before, but we don't talk about it a lot because people don't want to talk about that. Yeah. They don't want to know that people with wrinkles are having sex. No, I'm convinced my parents never had sex. Ever and my <laughs> sisters and I were miracles. You were, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, okay. Go ahead and think that. Yep. And I think that's okay. I think this has been going on for many, many, many years. Nope. But hey, what are you gonna do? All right, we'll get back to sexy slutty grandma on Monday. <laughs> but just for one moment, yeah. can you open your mind and nope. everyone just agree that no. it's okay for your parents and your grandparents to have a nice sex life? They no. deserve it. They deserve it. Nope. Be happy for them. Sorry, no? uh, Samantha. Is on the line. She sent us a text. We had to call her back. Hey, Samantha, what's going on? Oh, nothing. <laughs> yeah, talk about your grandma. Um, the other day we were talking about, um, like, other jobs and stuff. And, like, I guess back in the day she used to say, she said that, oh, I wasn't a hussy, but I did get around. I know what fun is. <laughs> well, oh, no. my gosh. <laughs> okay, so when your grandmother told you that, were you A, disgusted, or B, happy for your grandmother? I just kind of just like, I can't talk to you about this. This is disgusting. <laughs> and then she, um, she does, like, she, I take care of her at home. Um, and she's like, I'm bored. Maybe I should get a job. I'll be a day walker or a street walker. <gasps> and I had no idea what that was until she had to explain it to me. Uh, the daytime right. prostitute. Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> she's an early bird special. Yeah. Well, okay, yeah. that's all right. I don't know. You know, I, I guess... I guess you know my know my parents before they passed away about five six years ago whatever they I know that they had a somewhat of a of a, an active sex life up until their very last days and I would I would tell a friend the story and they would look at me and go oh disgusting I'm like no I'm happy for them I think that's so cool uh, and everyone looks at me like I'm a <laughs> I'm a perv and I get into like like geriatric porn and I don't I mean that's Nate's job Nate loves geriatric porn but I I don't I all right well you. You and your you can make geriatric porn. Yeah. You and your hussy grandmother have a wonderful weekend. Thanks for listening to us, Samantha. Thank you. All yep. right. Uh, mm, scary, give me Debbie on twenty one. Sure. Debbie you used to hang out with your grandma. You used to hang out with your grandma, and she told you what? She used to tell us all about her sex life. Like one day, I was sitting on the floor, and she's like, "Oh, I used to have sex on the floor. It's way better than on the bed. You can get it in better." And I'm like, "Oh my, oh God, my gosh, bro. grandma! Oh my gosh!" And then we were camping one time, and we're all in the car, and we're heading up to the campground, and Grandma's with us. Now, keep in mind, this woman is, like, in her, like, she died at 96, and this was a couple years ago, so she's in her uh, 90s when yeah. she's telling us the story. And we're going past this rest area, and Grandma's like, ooh, I got some stories about these rest areas. I was like, and we don't want to hear about them. Wow, like, Grandma. <laughs> Grandma at the truck stop. <laughs> you go, Grandma. Damn. Okay, so were you, A, disgusted, or B, Happy for your grandmother. I was happy for my grandma. We were very open about everything. Yay, grandma. Yay, grandma. 
<laughs> my love- son was mortified. He's in the back seat. He's, you know, over. He's like, oh, my God. I can't believe oh grandma. Oh, my gosh. All right, Debbie. You co- you're cool. And tell truck stop grandma we said hi, okay? <laughs> I will. Can I get a shirt? Yeah, give give one to grandma. Oh tell her to wear it when she's at the truck stop. Hold on. When my grandmother was in the nursing home, she would tell, she passed away two years ago, but she would tell them, Nick, the one time I'm going to be on top of my husband is when they bury me. Oh, wow. <laughs> And see, grandmas are allowed to say that. They're allowed to say whatever they want. They earned that right because they're grandma. Elvis, yeah. we just got a text that said my 97-year-old um, uh, grandmother, great-grandmother, got an 81-year-old boyfriend, and she admitted that they were having sex. Oof. Hey, Greg T. Yeah, man. Yeah, your grandma, she was she was an entertainer in her day. <laughs> well, way back when, World War II time, uh, she used to go to these dances, the CSO, and she used to like, you know, you know, she would say, me and the girls, we'd always be there for the sailors when they came home. And I can only imagine what went on at the dances or what went on when these sailors came home long at, uh, you know, being at, at sea okay. all this time. Maybe they were just dancing. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Was the CSO like the USO? I guess they had all those SOs back yeah, then. Yeah, but... exactly. So they all used to go to these dances and just help out the sailors and be there for them and comfort them as they came home from battle. But th- there is a chance they just danced. Well, that's where my grandmother met my grandfather, so I'm sure there was some uh, frisky business going Aww. on. Well, you never know. Uh, hello, Sean. <laughs> Hi. Hey, Sean. What were you doing going through your grandma's closet? Well, I, again, I don't know how young I was, but me and my cousin playing hide and go seek as little kids, he comes across, across this long sex toy object. Uh, yeah. I guess I'm not allowed to say the word. Starts with a D. Yeah, Rhymes we can dildo. use our imaginations. <laughs> okay. So you found Grandma's dildo. Uh, okay. Yeah, uh, and my cousin's swinging this thing around, and we come out of the room, and she's like, what are you doing? Blah, blah, blah. And it wasn't until years later we realized what it actually was. There you go. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So the question is, A, were you disgusted, or B, were you happy for Grandma? Absolutely, completely disgusted. Yeah. They, they okay. They All right. Not be doing that. I won't. I won't take that away from you. All right, Sean. Have a great weekend. I'm sure Grandma would be very proud. You're telling the story on the air for 10 million people to listen to.